Salutations everyone, this is Razor bringing you guys another Overwatch video here talking about my boy Hanzo with his Hans bow. And the the uh, the stigma around Hanzo players, Hanzo mains, anybody who picks Hanzo is uh, you know something that has kind of been plagued as a, a meme of the uh, Overwatch community pretty much since launch. And you know, no no one's like really uh, address the problem of the character like you know whether the character needs to be changed or you know people playing him wrong or in the wrong situations the Hanzo main uh, stigma needs to be rid of obviously the main way to do this is for bad people to stop playing Hanzo but I mean that is a kind of a tall order Considering you cannot stop bad players from playing any character yet. Uh, they don't get the same treatment as Hanzo players um, because of What is perceived to be the impact of the character now? What do I mean by that? Well, if a Hanzo player isn't doing their job, it seems uh, rather obvious, right? He doesn't have a ton of mobility. He's kind of a sitting duck. He's not a brawler um, and when it comes to what characters people feel comfortable with their teammates picking, if they're not picking a brawler, they tend to get flamed just a little bit. So, if you are a DPS player, and if you're picking Genji or Tracer or Reaper, McCree, Soldier, those are all characters who can kind of stay on and around the point, you know, whatever the objective uh, might be. Um, but, you know, Widowmaker and Hanzo, they aren't going to be on the point in order to be effective. For them to be effective, they are not going to be right on top of the objective, right behind the Reinhardt shield, right on the cart. Uh, they're going to be taking things at a little bit of a range, at the very least. And when it comes to healers uh, some people really don't like Ana and you know, they would much prefer a mercy who can just fly around everybody on the point or even a Lucio who has that AoE healing uh, people aren't so hot on the Zenyatas and the Anas because uh, they are better uh, played at a bit more range than your Lucios and your mercies and mercies aren't gonna be shooting their gun very much anyways and uh, when it comes to tanks, uh, people tend to um, not be able to play very well with, say, Winston, because yes, he has the bubble and he's, you know, got a, a bit of tankiness to him, uh, but he doesn't have the same shielding power as a Reinhardt or an Orisa and can't stay in the fight without being supported as well as a Zarya. So, that is the same thing that kind of plagues Hanzo players. People don't want a Hanzo because they've had so many bad experience with, you know, Hanzo mains. And I think we've all had that. We've all had bad Hanzo players on our teams. And their um, ability to impact the team in a helpful way is... Uh, quite obvious when it's not working out now Hanzo has a lot of good things going for him uh, You know the scatter arrow isn't the hardest thing to hit in the game and that can get some instant value You can get some instant one shots uh, Because of that his ult charges fairly quick uh, combos very well with a Zarya a grav or a Rhine hammer down Anything that can CC enemies, the, the Drogons really combine very well with. But if your tanks and your healers aren't doing their jobs, uh, then Hanzos aren't going to be able to do much anyway, whether they're a good Hanzo or not, you know, whatever you perceive that to be. But if Hanzo is given his space, if the tanks are doing their job, the healers are keeping those tanks alive, and uh, taking the pressure off of a would-be Hanzo or Widowmaker, you know, the snipers uh, on the defensive end. Uh, if they're doing that, then the Hanzo can be a huge, huge uh, chip, a huge card in your hand uh, to be a lethal ranged threat uh, that can do a little bit more burst damage uh, than a soldier, if he's accurate, and can 
eliminate uh, squishy targets with ease. You know, scatter is a little bit easier to hit um, from 50 yards away than, say, a uh, a soldier rockets. So Hanzo has the ability to absolutely um, take care of a team's DPS needs. He has that output. You know, we've seen it in uh, in professional play we barely saw any hanzo in the overwatch league preseason uh, but we did see some and you know previously we have seen teams use hanzo as their main uh dps threat on their team and hanzo definitely has the ability to do that if he hits his shots most people aren't going to be very good at hitting their shots but uh, we need those bad players to stop playing Hanzo, and if you're playing well enough with whatever character you're using, hopefully you're at uh, a place in the ELO where you don't have to worry about those terrible Hanzo mains because they're stuck in, you know, bronze and silver and gold. Um, but obviously, Hanzo isn't a character that can be used in every single situation, or even in most situations. Hanzo isn't going to work, even if you're fairly good, uh, because if you're fairly good, your competition is going to be fairly good at their characters, and Hanzo is just not going to work in a lot of those situations. But uh, attacking on King's Row, uh, attacking and defending and somewhat attacking here on Hollywood, at least on the first point, he's really good at defending on the first point of Hollywood, uh, he might see some utilization in certain control maps but once again that's only if the tanks and the healers are doing their job and you can say that ab about widow obviously as well but hanzo a bit easier to get value out of and the randomness of him can kind of help the team's favor and getting an ult every minute every couple of minutes uh is a huge boon especially because that will buy your team some space, combo well with Grav, and Hanzo can absolutely carry a team's DPS needs. It just the circumstances obviously have to be right, and we don't need those Instalock DPS uh, Hanzo mains ruining it for the rest of us, who can play the character uh, competently well in a couple of circumstances. So yeah, let's try to rid the stigma of the Hanzo main insult because he's a good character, some people think he needs a rework, uh, maybe give him another different arrow or, you know, get rid of recon arrow and give him something more useful, but I think he is useful as he is right now. You just have to have the right team and the right circumstances for it to work.